Yes. Technically, it's just the game keeps crashing on me all the time. Every time I finish loading, the game just crashes. The game just closes on itself all the time. Totally, it's funny. Really? Yeah, it just crashes. No, that's weird. It just keeps crashing every time I load up something. The game just closes on itself. So, I have a workaround if you want. But I don't know if it'll work for you because you won't be able to get the slideshow. Um, Viercon had a world oh, that you I could actually place. do a global voice oh, thing. Oh, hold on, this is the place I've gone to a lot. Yeah, so I know if I know place, you can... I know place. It's like a oh, cathedral. Well, uh, is this, is this say... broken? Is the floor broken again? I think the floor is broken. Yeah, yeah. the floor is broken. Because we uh, again. Uh, just chilling in the tiny circle. Yeah. Oh, wait, DJ. Yep. You're hanging out with some settings? Oh, hi, Andrew. Cool dinosaur rabbit. Yeah, 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 so we'll try it one more time. If not, then Forsetten has a world we might try out. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so well, let's, let's give it a whirl. Let me go. For you too and everything. And the king crashes again. This is ridiculous. Oh, maybe not. It's just lagging. But they never know anymore. For you too, and everything has a world we might try out. Okay, who's lagging? Oh my god, the are loading so heavy. It crashes the game again. Okay, we're back. But for how long? Today the game is continuously crashing. Like every time some suspicious figure, I don't, I don't know. Hey guys, I don't know. Start, feel free to come on in, grab a seat. I'm not sure how stable it is, but it will work for now. And... It sounds different. <laughs> It does a little bit. They're not that bad. I mean, they're... <laughs> sound like yeah. They're okay. I mean... You yeah. sound like you just Thumbs are really Remember good. Remember to invite Jade. <laughs> good guy, Reddit. Don't let me invite it for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Pretend that looks in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jake can't get in here? You, you, only, have you only have three fingers. No. <laughs> I, I do. Oh, here's Jake. <laughs> I'm still huh. trying to figure out if I can do a <laughs> super fly. <laughs> but I can't should find it. Should be between it in respawn and settings. So just open up. Should be between respawn and settings. That in the middle Hug. there. All right, uh, ladies and oh, gentlemen, we're going to get started in about another minute. Send those invites oh, out. Um, if you have a friend that's trying to get in here, uh, but they're being blocked, let me know their name personally because I know that one of these is uh, is the culprit. What? So uh, we can whitelist somebody if you know that they're cool. Um, uh, if they can't get in here, let me know, and we'll try to get everyone in here. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for your patience. Um, uh, Pastor Bismick, if you're here, feel free to come join me up on stage. I'm going to have you uh, start out uh, with a word of prayer for us. Um, guys, I want to welcome you to church. If this is your first time, welcome to Virtual Reality Church. So excited to see you um, from whatever part of the world you're from. Welcome. Uh, we just want to say hello. My name is DJ Soto. I'm one of the pastors here at VR Church. Pastor Bismick is another pastor. And actually, we have a hello. third pastor, and we'll introduce her in just a bit. Um, so, so good to see everyone. I hope you're doing well. We wanted to say hello to those watching on Twitch. What's up, Twitch? And may perhaps you're watching on demand later. Today's going to be a little bit different. Um, if this is your first time here, usually we spend some time time uh, with a sermon, with scripture, looking through some scripture in in, um, in the Bible. Uh, today is Vision Sunday across all of our churches. So we have several VR and MMO churches. And so we'll talk a little bit more about that in uh, later. So I just want to let you know, if this is your first time here, it's a little different, but I still think that you're going to be encouraged nonetheless, because we got a lot to talk about, a little time to do with it. So I'm going to have you uh, buckle up. And um, yeah, so we'll get started very shortly. I'm Let's see, uh, Pastor Jay. Uh, Phantom, can you keep me up to date with Pastor Jay? I sent him an invite. Um, Jay is here. Jay is here. Oh, is he here? Nice, nice. Oh, there he is. I see somebody called Jay. I see him. 
by Vivian Pine Size. Okay, cool. Excellent. Pastor Bismick, if you would be so kind as to open us up in a word of prayer. To open in prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. So, um, let us pray. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you that we can ask you about everything and you... <laughs> And you, you kindly give us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you that um, that you care for us. Thank you that you gave everything that for us, so so we could um, uh, be in live live in peace with you. Thank you so very much for this. And as I said in the first service, so thank you for the the steps you go with us within our journey with you. And now we're going a next step in our journey with you as a church. And therefore, guide this step. Let us let us hear. Let us listen to everything you say. If there are some things there you don't want to, let us be that open-minded to obey them. But um, let us also experience uh, your joy, your joy about us and your joyfulness about everything um, we plan now and uh, you inside all of this. So let us not forget during everything we will hear right now that you are in all of that. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Bismick, for that prayer. All right, my friends, like I said before, it's a little bit different. We're going to jump right into it. Uh, feel free to buckle up. Hang on. I, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I'm going to talk fast. And I'm going to give you a lot of information. Now, good, thankfully, uh, Galactic is streaming, so it'll be on Twitch later. And maybe I'll do like a short YouTube video recapping everything. Um, so that'll be helpful to you. So try to get as much as you can. I know it's Sunday. Maybe we're tired and we'll take a little nap. And, you know, uh, so just try to tune in as best as possible. Because I want to give you a lot of information. As a lot of information that includes our church and VR chat. If this is your first time, perhaps you're watching on Twitch. and Or perhaps uh, as we post to TikTok later, and I guess this reaction a lot like wait this is a real church with real pastors and leaders and volunteers and a real spiritual community absolutely and this is one of the first churches in vr and i'm really excited to share today what is called season five of vr church so we were just in season four and now we're entering season five now what we we borrowed that from some of the gaming community uh perhaps so you play Apex or Fortnite, perhaps Wars, others, uh, even Overwatch does it. They introduce new seasons. And I really like that because there's a there's a psychological effect that that happens when they introduce a new season. We're going to have new weapons, new maps. We're going to change this. We're going to change that. And that helps the community realize that change is coming. Sometimes it's great. Oh, we love this season. It was the best. Sometimes it's not so great. My kids didn't like season whatever at Fortnite. I forget which one it was. Uh, but that gives the developer an opportunity to try new things out. And one of the things the church is guilty of is getting stuck in a rut. And, you know, this is the way we've always done it. This is the way we should always do it. And that's something that we don't want to be a part of. That's something, we, not all churches are, are like that, by the way. But um, there is that tendency, that gravitational pull to um, be unchangeable to not introduce new things. And so that's why we adopted this into seasons into VR MMO church, because we wanted to be able to say, all right, what are some new things that God is leading us to? And we can introduce that to the church without their kind of getting stuck and right. Well, pastor, we've always done VR church this way. Well, maybe we did that and we want to honor the past, but we don't live there. And so that's why we've been doing seasons. Let me give you a quick recap, and I'm going to do this very quickly. Because some of you are like, if we're in season five, then what was season one? Well, we've kind of retroactively went backwards and attributed a particular year to a season. So, for example, in 2016, uh, that was season one. Uh, a little bit of history. is uh, I was leaving a, a physical church that I was a part of, and um, I was going to go plant physical churches. I was going to start churches. And in the physical world. It was about that time when the Oculus Rift came out. I'm talking about CV1. And does anybody remember the CV1? Did you ever own the first Oculus, you know, with the light stands? It's funny to talk about it like, you know, first gen VR. Like now we're here with the indexes and, you know, the quests and whatnots. And, but yeah, you got the, maybe some of you are still using the, uh, you know, the light stands. And, um, and, and at first, there wasn't uh, hand controllers. It was just the the, uh, the Xbox controller. But 
I remember reading about VR and thinking to myself, oh, it sounds really cool, but I don't know if I want to spend all that money because back then uh, it was a little different. And some of you know, you had to pay a lot of money to get into VR, make sure your computer had a nice graphics card. Um, you know, you had to buy the Oculus itself was, you know, pretty expensive. You could easily drop a couple thousand uh, down back in the day to get into VR. And so I was like, man, I don't know. But I think I read, I forgot which article it was, but I read an article. I was went into detail about it. And the article at the end of the day, in, in short words, said, this is legit. This is real. It's not a fad. It's not just a, a gimmick. This is going to introduce something significant. And I remember reading that. I was like, I have to get VR. So we got it, got the Oculus Rift. Man, I loved it. Doing all the uh, experiences and video games and movies and, and all this stuff. And it was summer of 2016 when I went into Altspace VR for the first time. And some of you have been to Altspace VR, so you know what I'm talking about. And it was just like, no, I know Altspace is very different, but what I mean is it was just like this, where you can walk up to people, say hello, give high fives, give hugs. You know, it, it, I've never experienced anything like that. The metaverse, if you will. And it wasn't too long after that where I said, man, we, we need to start a church here. I would love to experiment with a church in virtual reality so sure enough a few days later you know i just posted on social media hey uh the vr church experience i'd love to have you come check it out and so i didn't know anybody else that had vr so i didn't really have much expectation and so we had our first church service i had a sermon prepared i had some music I had some prayer getting ready to go and i remember that um five people came to my first church service in virtual reality way back in 2016 now, if you were trying to plant a church in the physical world and five people showed up, man, that'd be devastating. They'd be like, oh, it was a failure. It was horrible. Forget it. You know, let's <laughs> let's quit this while we're ahead. Man, but for me in VR, I was so excited because I saw the possibilities. And here's, here's significant, something that just really uh, clicked the light bulb on. And that was when an atheist came and he said, he was one of the first visitors, if not the first visitor ever to VR church. Oh, I'm getting a notification that my battery is on. Hold on, let me see. I thought this thing was charged up. All right, so now all the more reason to go quickly. We might have to take a quick break. I could switch into 2D mode, but let's, let's see how far we can get. Hold on, let me just do a little double check here. If I disappear, I'll be back in, in a minute or so. Um, and feel free to talk amongst yourself. But let's keep this thing rolling while we got the momentum. Um, and so... Um, Let's see. Yeah, the first visitor, he was an atheist from Denmark. He came in and said, man, I don't believe in God, but I'm curious about to see what this faith thing is all about. And man, the light bulb came on. And maybe you're part of the atheist and agnostic community. Maybe you're, you're amongst us and you're one of our friends and you're an atheist and agnostic. And, you know, you speak to that story about coming into a spiritual community. You might not believe, but you're kind of curious and you want to have a conversation. You want to uh, be a part of the community. And so that was season one, just getting started and then it wasn't too much longer when season two hit retroactively speaking we kind of attribute it later season two was when we uh, launched into this idea that this is a real church and see in 2016 it was just kind of like an idea an experiment you know that type of thing but in 2017 we said wait hold, hold on a second this is actually a real church just like you you would see a church on the you know your corner of your town or in your city this is a real church and we're going to treat it like one. And so sure enough, we started taking it seriously. That little psychological shift really led us to what we are today. So in 2016 and then 2017 and then season three and four, where we just grew and volunteers and people started coming. And I don't know if you remember that crazy moment when uh, Seer Moore, if you know him, Seer Moore and Drumsy on YouTube made a, a, a video about bapt baptism and then you know that went viral Searmore's video has like over a million views and hundreds of thousands of views on on drums uh yeah on drumsy's video and that was wild people were like what what is this this is a real trip this is a real pastor like you know you get that reaction to this day like i can't wrap my brain around it but sure enough we do have this spiritual community this is this isn't just about me, uh, but, you know, Pastor GJ, Pastor Bismick. This is about this community that you're a part of, where we can grow in faith, we can grow in, in spiritual, uh, in spirituality, where we can pray, where we can take care of each other. Hey, how you doing? Are you doing okay? You know, all those types of things are so important. And I know we got our fair share of critics. 
you know, uh, sure enough, when those videos came out, people, lots of positive response, by the way. You should read through those. Usually you don't read through the YouTube comments, right? But man, you should read through the Drumsy and the uh, Searmore comments because people are encouraged to see that they can uh, explore their faith in new mediums. But anyway, so um, we've had our fair share of criticism and we've seen that. Oh, you can't have a real church. Wait, what is that? Is that an anime? You know, you know, what's happening here? Uh, yeah, maybe after at the end, Yotis, with a little Q&A at the end, we'll do that. Um, and so... Uh, yeah, yeah, what you got yeah, real quick. Well, why you do that? Let me see if I can find my charger. Go for it. Go for it, Yotis. Say it one more time. Uh, I should go to sleep because it's late for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Understood. All right. See ya. Take care. <laughs> okay. See ya. All right. Let's see if this will. Uh... Hold on one second. Let me go. Okay, let's see if this will work. My apologies. I'm going to make sure the battery, hopefully, that will do the trick. All right. How's that? How's that? How, how am I looking? Looking weird? Okay. There we go. All right. Check, check. One, two. Good, good. Wait, good? We still here? All right. Hang with me here. Because I know I'm throwing a lot at you. Um, so, man, here we are. I, I, look, 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 I know, I know, uh, this is my, you know, the community I'm a part of, in one sense, the community that we've created, I, I know I'm biased, I, I know that, but I love, dude, let me tell you something, I think this is one of the most amazing churches in history right here, just, God, just look around, and tell me that history uh, in the past wouldn't look and be like, what is, that's a church, and what is that creature over there? And the pastor is half-life. What you know? I mean, it's just mind-blowing to think. And this is just the beginning. I don't. You think of we have t like thousands of years of church history, and we just have like for VR chat like two. Can you imagine in fifty years, hundred years, what this is going to be like? It's, I can't even. My brain can't even wrap. I can't wrap my brain around it. And I know I'm biased, you know, and, you know, I just love all the churches, but man, this is one of the coolest churches in history, I think. I think it's one of the coolest communities. It's not just, it's not me, you know, my sermons or whatever. No, it's just the people that make it, uh, the hanging out before and after, man, you guys, you really are amazing. And maybe you don't think you are. I was like, I'm nobody. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to, no, man, I'm just so blessed to be a part of this community. I'm so blessed to be your pastor. I'm so blessed that, that this exists and that we can explore our faith this way. And so that's beautiful and that's exciting. And no, 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 that's me being biased. But now uh, we're going to come and I got to go quickly through here. Uh, there's this verse in the Bible that says, write the vision and engra engrave it plainly on tablets so that the one who reads it will run. Well, what does that mean? Well, it's this, it's this Bible verse that says, write the vision down so that when people read it, they know exactly what to do. Because listen, VR church is growing. We're growing in VR chat. We're growing in alt space VR. We're growing in the MMO churches. We'll talk about it in a little bit. And as we grow and grow and grow, we need a little bit of vision now. See, before uh, we were building the plane and flying it at the same time. People what, you know, asking me, what is VR church all about? And I was like, I don't know. We're just kind of trying to figure it out ourselves. And to some degree, that's going to stay. But from here on out, there's some vision that we want to have with VR chat, with the whole church. We want to, to focus our, our energies on certain aspects of the church. And so we've written down the vision, and I want to share it with you today. Uh, by the way, if this is your first time, here's some links for you to check out. Um, MMO.church, well, churches in MMOs, multi massively multiplayer online, and vrchurch.org, churches in vrchurch. excuse me, churches in virtual reality. And then we have this new logo, VR MMO Church, that we're like combining the ministries. Uh, they're still separate. You know, MMO Church is different than VR Church, but we're still in one family. Um, so 
Let's talk about season five of VR Church. We have a new focus. Uh, last season in season four, it was love, prayer, and destiny. Here in season five, we want to keep it simple to one word. Pastor, what do you, what do you want us to focus on as a, as a believer? Um, or even if you don't believe, what do you, what do you want us to focus on in the church? And our focus for season five is good works. See, I want this church to be one of the churches in the world that is known for taking care, taking care of each other, for loving one another, for doing good things. I mean, I don't want to be a church that's just, yeah, we, uh, we just attend an event and, you know, we, we don't murder people. We keep the Ten Commandments. You know, that's just like a little small part of it. There's this greater aspect where we see that God has called us into good works to love one another. Man, that's what I want to be a part of. I don't want to just be a religious person that does religious events and religious things. By the way, that can be good. But I've seen, and in my experience, where that's all it is. It's all we do. But I believe God has called us into good works. So that's our focus. You're going to hear that over and over again. I, I get it, Pastor. You said good works and love. I get it. Yeah, you're going to hear from us over and over again. We're going to remind you so that we, we don't get stuck in a rut, so that we don't become a church that's just religiously arrogant. Now, we want to be a church that's known for good works. Man, you're here at church and VR chat. You're at the, you know, any world in this metaverse to show love, to show good works to one another. It's not about being religious. It's just about being loving in our vision. Speaking of vision, not only do we have a new focus, we have a new vision for season five. And our vision is to cultivate loving spiritual communities across the metaverse. Anyone in here can be a part of this vision. You don't have to wait till Sunday and the pastor to, to bless you and what you're doing in the metaverse or wherever you go. Wh however you go in this world and whatever you do, you're carrying the love of God with you. You're being loving to others and you're being part of this mission to cultivate loving spiritual communities across the metaverse. Be a part of that. That can be here on Sunday. That's great. But man, that could be Thursday night in who knows the black cat or wherever you're at across the metaverse. We got to keep things moving. Um, a new statement, and this is going to help you, I believe, particularly in VR chat, that church can be anywhere at any time with anyone. Uh, by the way, I'm not anti-church. Obviously, I'm a pastor, and we have a church here on Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern. But that's not—that's just a small part of the church experience. Church, and we'll look at this verse later, can be anywhere at any time with anyone. Man, two or three of you are gathered, and you're worshiping, and you're praying. You're talking about spiritual things and God, or you know, maybe you're talking with something. You're having a church experience in that moment. And that's something to, to kind of keep in the back of your brain. That's a new statement uh, that, that we that we have. Well, now uh, let's talk about this new direction. Remember, I said I'm talking fast. Buckle up. We're going quickly through all of this. We have this new direction. VR MMO Church is now going to be considered two aspects to it. The one aspect is community churches. And this is like the uh, the official side of VR Church, for lack of better words. And then there's going to be community channels. And let me explain a little bit about what uh, community churches and community channels are. Community churches, uh, or by the way, let me back up a little bit. My gifting, my uh, the talents that God has given me is to pioneer new churches. I would start a church under a bridge tomorrow. There's a rec room where we used to be, and we want to get back in there now again. And, you know, there's that new VR MMO, Zenith Online. Come on. I want to plant a church everywhere, Warcraft, Rec Room, Zenith, and all that. But we believe, and Pastor Lean and I have been talking about this long, for a while, that we need to focus a little bit. As much as we would love to do a million things, we want to focus on four church. How can I do the number four here? What's going on? Why can't my thumb? Uh, four, uh, four churches um, across VR and MMO. So we're going to talk about that in a second. For now, those other ones are coming soon or coming at some point. But for the foreseeable future, let's gather our energy and focus on four. And that's what we're inviting you to be a part of. So let's see here. Let's talk about these community churches for a second. Over here, we're going to focus on four churches, the leaders, the elders, the volunteers, the community. We want to encourage you to be a part of this. And the four that we're focusing on, is alt is two in VR and two in MMOs. We have alt space VR. Um, we have VR chat. Here we are. Hello. 
And then two in MMOs, like Rust and Final Fantasy. And for the foreseeable future, this is what we want to focus on. We want to continue to build. We want to continue to cultivate these communities. And we want to invite you to be a part of it, whether it's Altspace, VR Chat, Rust, or Final Fantasy Online. But Pastor, what about Rec Room and Zenith and, you know, this, that, and the other? Yes, I, you trust me, I want to get there sooner than later. But right now, we believe that God wants us to focus on these four, to, to uh, go um, and build a deep foundation before we start going any wider um, as we build the church. So my encouragement to you is pick one of these churches that you say, man, you know what? I'm going to pick that church. And by the way, you can pick more, but pick one that you want to focus on, that one that you're going to pray about. You're going to pray weekly. Pastor, that's the church I'm going to pray for. And it's, it, I assume it's VR chat since you're here. Uh, but, you know, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe you're in these other spaces as well. Man, I'm going to pray for VR chat. I'm going to attend when I can. Uh, I just want to be an encouragement to that church. I'm going to support. I'm going to be a greeter. I'm going to a volunteer, you know, all these different things. Um, if that is VR chat, then man, we encourage you to pick one of these four to help us because it's not me that's going to build this church. It's going to be this community together in the power and the love of God that's going to be able to build what God is doing in this, in the metaverse. So if it's VR chat, great. That's the community that I encourage you to pick to pray, to support, to attend, to help it grow, to introduce other people to it that might be interested in it. And man, that's an encouragement I give to you. By the way, you can do them all, but I'm just saying, I know with our limited time and resources, you know, we get school and work and, you know, there's a lot going on in life. So, uh, but you are, you are welcome to be a part of this, all of these churches if you want. But in the very least, we encourage you to at least pick one. Um, so, VR chat has been an amazing journey. I remember our first service in VR chat was in that, I forgot the name of the, the world now. It was this empty room. It was like literally a grid. And we just, you know, huddled in a corner. I think there was like, you know, five or six of us. And, you know, I just shared a message there in the corner and we just hanged out and chat. It was literally just a grid. Um, and it's so fun to see how we've just journeyed, trying out different worlds, trying out different spaces, exploring and building worlds for the first time. That's just been a lot of fun. VR MMO Church, we love this church. We love the church in VR chat. It's amazing. It's fun. It's a blast. Well, Pastor, I heard, I don't know, isn't it dark? Isn't it, doesn't it get truly and doesn't it? Well, yeah, well, it, that's, that's the internet. If you interact with the internet, you're going to interact with some weird stuff. Well, you shouldn't be there because it's so dark. No, that's, that's the reason we're here, man, to share God's love, to be a light in a dark place. And so, um, and not everyone, by the way, don't take that to me. Like, you know, VR chats, you know, wicked and, you know, people are weird, but I'm just saying, you just kind of hear that reaction sometimes. And I just want to say, you know, that doesn't bother us. We love VR chat. We love the community and we want to be a part of it. So um, that's that's one of the VR churches we're focusing on. Um, now let's talk about community channels. I think it'll take some slides out from earlier because of, uh, of the space in this world. But community, so we talked about uh, community churches, Altspace, VR chat, Rust, and Final Fantasy. Now, what are these community channels you're talking about? Well, the community channel is anyone can start this on our Discord server. I know the pastors are focusing on these four, but the community channel is anything you're passionate about. Is there an experience, a game, an MMO? Is there a topic that you want to cultivate community, that you want to bring people in to hang out, to play, to chat? You know, perhaps you have a Minecraft server and you have that Minecraft server for a long time, just as an example. And you're like, man, I'd love for people to join this. Well, man, create a, a, a community channel on our Discord. You'll, you'll see com, uh, you'll see VR MMO churches as a, as a category. And those have the rust, the, the four that I mentioned. And then the community channels, anything. Is it an anime? Is it Warcraft, uh, World of Warcraft? Is there a Minecraft server you you would you think people would love to hang out with? You know, some other examples, Ark Survival, that's a great experience. Rec Room, I mean, you name it. There's, a, you know, not just experiences, but topics like anime. You could cultivate a, a, a bunch of people would love to just get in there and chat. And so we want to encourage you and empower you to create a community channel. 
And by the way, you don't have to get churchy with it because some might say, well, you have to prepare a sermon. Do I have to do Bible studies? No, that's what the f- other four churches are, d- are doing. You just bring in friends, community, whoever, whoever to help you just have fun and create friendships and create community on that channel. So you got a Warcraft guild you want to start up. You can probably even call it MMO Church if you wanted to. If you got a Warcraft guild or a Minecraft or a, uh, you know a board game club or I, I don't know, there's the really the options are unlimited. But what are you passionate about? Where where do you want to cultivate some friendship in? Yes, we have the four official. But man, maybe you love Warzone and you want to get some friends in there. Um, two or three of you want to get going. You don't, it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be super fancy. But you do want at least two or three people to help you with it. So to, to start a channel, um, you would need two or three people. And then uh, all we ask is that you just, you know, engage a couple times a month. Get a couple play groups a couple times a month. Maybe every It could, it could be every week. It could be every day. I don't, I don't know how you want to do it. Um, but it's... In the very least, two or three people, because it's hard to do it by yourself. You're going to need some people that are going to help you with the community channel. Um, and then when you do an event, you'll at least have your two or three people. And then we want to see those things grow. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to propose something to you. I know that seems kind of crazy. I think that God is going to use these community channels in powerful ways. You get your, let's take Minecraft, for example. You get some friends. You get, you're get you not doing church stuff, Bible study. You're, not, you're just getting together, hanging out, building and praying. You know what God's going to do? He's going to connect that to what we're doing as a whole of the church, where we cultivate loving spiritual communities. Now, listen, I've seen it several times this year where people come in. They don't care about the church. They just want to play Rust. They don't care about this experience. They just want to hang out. And then a few weeks later, hey, 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 DJ, I have a question about God about this. And then another person said, this is true stories. I'm not making this up. Another person said, you know, I don't, I'm not really a believer, but can you pray for my family member who's sick? And let me tell you something. You're thinking to yourself, oh, that doesn't seem like anything special for me to create a channel. I think it is. If you get two or three people, you guys are passionate about a particular experience then I believe God's going to use that. You're going to see that later later down the road. You're going to see a little of the effect. They might ask you, hey, what's... So you go to church in VR chat? And it's like, yeah, yeah, we, you meet on Sundays. Oh, am I allowed to go? Yeah, yeah, come check it out. And you're going to start to see God using that in powerful ways. You're like, well, but, you know, how did that happen? I, I, I can't explain it, but it does happen. So we want to invite you to create a community channel and experiences. You know, maybe you have your own Discord. That's great. Keep doing that. We're not trying to pull anyone from anything. And we're just trying to think if you don't have something and this is something that sounds really exciting to you, then yes, come be a part of us. If you got something else going, man, all more power to you. Keep keep rocking that. Um, so yes, uh, the form will be available at the beginning, uh, in the middle of the week. Um, so, you know, just answer a few questions. What kind of channel do you want to start? Who are your two or three teammates to help you with the channel? Um, you know, we just ask that you, you just play a couple times a month. So we just don't want dead channels like filling up the Discord is, is, is a main thing. Um, just like nothing happening like for three months channel. Um, so that's, you know, that's the only reason we want to keep these things active. So yes, think about that. Um, what can I do? We've been talking about it. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Pray for that church you're supporting. Give to that church, whether it's, you know, through a Twitch sub or or online, I know uh, money can be a weird thing with churches, but, you know, we're not, uh, you know, flying on jets. You know, you know Pastor Bismick doesn't have a mansion. That's not how, how we do things. But pray, consider giving, and then go is actually being a part of it. I um, mean, just jumping in as much as you're able. So, Pastor, I only got like 30 minutes each week. Well, that's then that's you, you've given what you've given. That's beautiful. Thank you for that 30 minutes, for attending, for being a part of that community. That's powerful. It's 30 minutes. It's three hours. I mean, I don't know that the amounts in all this pray, give, go that you prayed for three hours that you gave 300, you know, no. Did you pray? Did you give? Did you, did you uh, go as much as you're, you're able to, man, that's what I'm excited about. Um, and I think that's really powerful. All right, let's keep this thing moving because of time. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're running low, running low. Okay. Let me take a break to make sure I'm not going too fast. So we talked about this, uh, supporting the church. Um, So we can uh, keep moving through here. Questions we are asking. 
Um, again, if you're just popping in on Twitch, church is a little bit different today. We usually do scripture and prayer and a sermon and all that, but we're giving vision for what's coming up in season five for VR Church. So questions we're asking, not necessarily trying to answer the questions like by like next week. This is something that's in our brain, if that makes sense. And that is how do we help people to regain the energy to engage with life and develop themselves to the fullest? Man, I'm really interested in that. I'm really passionate about people coming alive in Christ. Um, this is from The Body Keeps the Score, a book that I've been reading. Uh, number two, how can we cultivate community, helping people to be seen and heard in virtual environments? A lot of the criticism you see out there on the news, I posted some of my TikTok. Um, you know, we got made fun of a little bit on the Comedy Central. I don't know if you've seen that one. There was another radio station that was really kind of like mean. And, you know, one of the things is you can't have relationships in virtual reality. Well, I beg to differ. Some of my closest friends are in VR and I have not met them IRL. There's, if you haven't experienced this, well, you have, I'm just speaking in at, at large. If you haven't experienced the, the immersive power of the, of the technology of VR, you probably don't know that you can have some close friends, close relationships, uh, just as close as you would in the physical world here in virtual reality. And I don't need to convince you because you're here and you, you get that. You probably don't even think about that. Uh, but for some on the outside looking in, it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't get that. Um, and so it's not so much a question that needs to be answered, but maybe it, it maybe it'd be better to say, how can we continue to cultivate community? And that's that's an important question to ask. How can we continue to become closer and with good works, encouragement, all of those things? And then number three, what's the simplest form of church we can express? Now, the reason we have that there, because VR Church is growing. We have multiple church services on a Sunday. We're adding one for Final Fantasy. Um, and so we have a lot of things going. It's going to become more complex, but we don't want to become complex. We don't want, let me say it again. We don't want to become complex. We want to become very simple. So as people come in, they realize, oh, wow, this is a, just a loving spiritual community that I can be a part of. Um, so these are some of the questions we're asked. All right. I have a couple people we need to bring up on stage or at least to the front. I think the stage is locked, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, before we do that, a couple of verses that I, I want to read to you. As because some of you said, yeah, DJ, you said, um, you know, church can be anywhere at any time with anyone, but uh, I don't know about that. Well, let me prove it to you. Uh, Matthew 18, 20 says this. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, so I'm at Jesus, there I am in the midst of them. If we gather, Jesus is there. So I don't care if two or three at the back, uh, the, the black cat, I don't care if it's an empty grid world. I don't maybe in the physical world, you're at a coffee shop. If there are two or three of you together talking about God and spirituality and faith and your doubts, and I don't know about this, but what about that? When you're doing that, guess what? Jesus is like, I'm there. I'm hanging out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a part of that. It's mysterious. I can't explain it. I don't, you know, I, if I'm to be, if I'm to be completely honest with you, I don't understand how it all works. But here you see the, the fundamentals of what a church is. Matthew 18, 20. If two or three are gathered, Jesus is there. And if that's not church, then I don't know what is. And then all this stuff that I'm talking about season five, I thought Matthew 18, 20 is such a power. And actually, that's the uh, it's a different reference, but I think it's still in Matthew 18. I think I have two... Uh, of the same here. So I'll, I'll get that fixed for you. But this um, passage or this scripture is really powerful because I'm not saying you guys are saying this or maybe anybody on Twitch, but this is kind of like as a devil's advocate, maybe someone's saying, you really think, think you could build that church in VR chat? You really think that church in Final Fantasy and the MMOs, you think that's all can really happen? I, I have my doubts. Well, let me show you that it's going to happen. And it's not because of me and, you know, how, you know, how smart I am, trust me, that I don't take tests very well. But it says here, uh, Jesus speaking again, again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Let me read that again. Truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, 
it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. In other words, if we agree, God will do it. So this whole season five thing that maybe some people think are crazy, church and VR, et cetera, well, I don't know, this, that, and the other thing. In a moment, we're going to have a Pastor Bismuth come up and pray and ask God. Say, hey, God, we agree. This church here agrees. And maybe you don't. Maybe you think the vision sucks, and that's fine. Fair enough. But I, I would assume many of us do. And Pastor Bismuth's going to come up here, and he's going to pray. He's going to ask God. Say, God, here's our vision. Here's season five. It's our, our plans, but really, we give it to you. And um, according to this verse, if you and I agree on it, and we ask for it, in a way that I can't explain is mysterious, God's going to do it. Pastor, you really think this is going to happen? Yeah. Because in this verse, he's going to do it. And it's going to be wild to watch. Buckle up. It's going to be a roller coaster ride. We're, it, it's, it's church, starting churches is going to be hard, man. You know, roller coasters, up and downs, and all the difficulties and challenges, and all the joys, and all of that. But God's going to do it. He's going to see us through. And that is amazing. That this right here alone is mind blowing. That this is going to go beyond what we can even imagine. Because God's going to do it if we agree on and ask on. So uh, we'll take care of that in a moment. But before we do that, let's see here. Pint size ninja robot. If you don't mind coming up to the front and Bismic coming up to the front as well. As well as Pastor Jate. Pastor Jate, if you don't mind coming up here. I saw Jay is Jerry's Jate. We're going to talk about what's happening here in a second. Um, so first of all, um, over here on my right, you see this partner support in Jate Live. So part of season five, what we're going to do, and we've never really done this before, excuse me, is we're going to support a missionary. So when you go to your physical church, oftentimes, they'll, for example, at that physical church, maybe someone's going to be a missionary in Africa, so they'll make sure to give them money so that they can live and buy food and get a house in Africa. And so that's kind of that construct that we've seen in the past. But in the digital world, it's different. And so as a VR MMO church, we want to support digital missionaries, for lack of better words. I'm sure maybe there's a more updated term we could use, but let's just use that for now, a digital or virtual missionary. And so Pastor Jay, um, if you don't mind, just coming down to the middle um, over here. We're uh, kind of like in the middle of the stage right here. Pastor Jay um, is a pastor. I know he says he's not a pastor, but he's a pastor, and he has a church. Church, church on Twitch, and he's going to take a couple minutes, and for some the, the stage is blocked, so you might have to walk out into the middle and kind of yell loud, Pastor Jake. And he's going to tell us what his ministry is all about, Love Clan. And um, what we're going to do as a partner support is we're going to pledge to support every month Pastor Jake financially. Um, so that's what we're going to be committing to, Pastor Jake. And so, do uh, you mind telling us a little bit about Love Clan and what you do? Maybe I do need to come this way, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hi, I'm Jay. Uh, um, so for like a long time, actually, I was I was working doing motion graphics. I've done motion graphics for like Google and Nike and ESPN, and um, I was kind of just going down a path where I was tr trying to make money and rather than trying to like do something with purpose, and that really bugged me. And um, God kind of worked on my heart, and I started uh, attending churches, and I. Um, got to the point where I felt like God was saying, you need to do something with purpose rather than just trying to make money. And so I, um, I prayed about it. And for about six months, I was praying until I felt like God was telling me, what about a game church? So I quit my job and it was very strange to do that and decided to, um, to just work at churches. And so I worked there for five years while I was kind of trying to figure out how to start a physical church rather than starting kind of an online church. And so it's sort of a, a similar thing to with DJ, um, which he was mentioning in like the, the earlier service where his, um, it, it just kind of happened accidentally. It's, it felt the same way for me, just sort of rolled into doing the whole virtual church thing. And, um, and so we started like a clan in Destiny, just sort of so that I could get to know some people. And that of course grew to like way more than we thought. And then it started doing a uh, Discord and um, that grew to like a thousand members. And I started streaming on Twitch and now that's like 2,500 members. And so, it's just been amazing seeing like how in a very, very short time, less than two years, God has really grown yeah, the ministry there. I, I do stream a lot. I stream about 11 hours a day. So um, currently it's, it's a lot, but um, yeah, I just, I real quick on a, a verse, a verse that, that kind of was on my heart when I was praying for the six months and I was trying to figure out what I should do and what that would look like. 
And it's Ephesians 2.10. It says that we're your workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works that he prepared in advance we might walk in. And for me, that's, that's so powerful because it's like what we're talking about here, that there's good works, right? And obviously we're not saved by our works, but we are, um, God has called us to good works. Every single person in this room, there's something specific that God has called you to. There's a purpose for your life. You're not an accident. Uh, God loves you and cares for you, wants the best for you. And so he knows what you want. He knows what you need. And, uh, and I, I just didn't feel that for me. Even though what I was doing was very successful, it didn't feel like it mattered in the long scheme of things. And, um, and now every day it's like, man, even if I'm not the best at it, even if I fail, and even if I do you know, tech problems or whatever, it's just like it's so important because it's needed. It's a, it is a space that is very dark, Twitch in general, but you guys know gaming and just it. People need to know that they're loved. They need to know that there's a God that cares about them, and they need to know that there's people praying for them. And so I'm just very blessed to get to be in this space and uh, to get to work with DJ and to um, continue thinking about how we can reach even into like now doing MMO and how can on my side of things, just in all games, just getting to know other gamers. And um, I just, you know, that I guess that's it. So Love Clan is, uh, is mostly a Discord. It's, it's growing, but it's becoming kind of a stream team. We have about four other streamers that are all kind of uh, in prep mode. And, uh, uh, and we're just trying to figure out kind of how to continue pushing into uh, the gaming space to let people know that Jesus loves them. So that's, uh, I think, the short, um, short of it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Pastor Jade. I really appreciate that, man. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited about what you're doing on Twitch and on Discord. And, by the way, feel free to join that. Uh, um, somebody, yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's an actual conversation just in my brain about, well, oh, maybe you know, I should, need, should I attend there? Cause I should only attend one church. No, it's decentralized here. Meaning be a part of Jade's community and be a part of this one as well. Uh, support Jade, watch his streams, join his discord. Um, if that's what you're led to, then please uh, pursue that. So, uh, yeah, Jake's Jade's a friend. And so, um, yeah, it's powerful. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jade. All right. Pint-sized ninja, if you don't mind coming to the center stage for this moment, if you look on my left, your right, we are going to have an ordination service for Pastor Coco, a.k.a. Pint-sized ninja. If you don't mind coming to the front so we can present you uh, to the church. And uh, this is just an important moment. Um, a couple places in Scripture, you see that the writer encourages people to establish leadership. Okay, this is not about power trips or titles. I know we have titles, you know, Pastor DJ, Pastor Bismick and all that. At our church, it's really not this like pastors are up here and the laity are down here. Here's the clergy. And then you know, the ruffians are down here. No, no, we're all equal. We're all the same. I'm no better than you. I have different giftings. My, my giftings tend to be up on stage and all that, but we're, we're all uh, the same. Uh, titles help us to organize leadership. And you see that, you know, at work or even playing a pickup game, who's the team captain, who's, uh, who's the assistant captain, who plays this position, who plays that position. That helps organize. Like Particularly when you get bigger, we need some organization so we can follow people. And all right, that's the leader. Let's follow them. That's the direction they're going. Let's listen to what they say. Um, it's not a power trip thing, these titles, but we're also not afraid to use titles. And in the church, we have a title called pastor or, or shepherd. And we also have a title called Elder. Elder has this idea of overseeing the church. It's kind of fundamentally what my role is as, a, as an overseer. Um, and so Pint Nights, excuse me, Pint Sized Ninja Robot, a.k.a. Aletha, a.k.a. Coco is what we're going with, what you see here on the screen, is going to be established as a pastor and an elder of VR MMO Church. And actually, Pint Sized, if you don't mind coming to the center, centering up a little bit, it might look uh, better for the pictures coming over to your right. Uh, like right in front of me. Yeah, right there is good. And um, so, yeah, as an elder, as a pastor of VR Church, there's, uh, if you go to our website, vrchurch.org, you can see two elder boards. There's, a, there's an elder board outside of VR, a great group of people. I could talk about them all day. They oversee the church, like finances. Like when you give to VR Church, it's not me and my bank account going, hey, 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 already are. All right. No, there's like this oversight that happens and they make sure that funds are being used well and properly um, to pay bills, to pay pastors, you know, all those types of things. Um, and then inside VR, there's several elders as well that take care of what's actually happening inside of virtual reality. Um, and so that's things like Pastor Bismick is an elder. I am Alina. Pastor Wilco was for, for the longest time. Uh, 
Um, and then, uh, yeah, Pastor Zach. You know, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Zach doesn't make. Uh, yeah, I got him all. And now we're adding uh, Pastor and Elder uh, uh, Coco um, to the ministry. Um, there's one time where the Apostle Paul, he's writing in the Bible, and he tells Timothy, go appoint elders from town to town. So when you go to this town, appoint some spiritual leadership, get some something organized going. Again, not a power trip thing. We just need some leadership there. So appoint an elder here. When you go to that town, appoint an elder over there. For us, the towns look different, don't they? We appoint elders in VR chat, um, in alt space, in rust, and now... Uh, Pastor Coco is going to be the elder we've appointed to the world of Final Fantasy XIV online. If you've played an MMO, if you've played Final Fantasy, you know there's millions of player, players. Uh, wonderful opportunities to, to um, be a community and to cultivate love in that metaverse. And so, uh, yeah, I think that there are people that are looking for community that want to spiritually grow, you know, and they want to be a part of something like this. And so... Uh, uh, we are appointing uh, Aletha or Pastor Coco um, to that town or to that metaverse for our vernacular. And so here is a little ordination graphic that we have here for Pastor Coco. This is actually her Final Fantasy XIV online character. And we're really excited about the Final Fantasy XIV ministry. There's so much we could say about alt space and what's happening in VR chat. There's a story after story in Rust and now here in Final Fantasy. And one thing that we were able to do, I know if you haven't played that, this might not like resonate, but we bought a house um, in Final Fantasy XIV, which is really hard to do if you know that world. It's like really hard. And we've got this whole um, home um, in the goblet section, and you can be a part of that. And uh, Pastor Coco is going to be a uh, part of that as well. All right, uh, Pastor Coco, just one little charge to you. Um, as you become a pastor and elder of VR Church, I think of... Um, that passage of scripture in uh, that we just read recently in Peter, where it says, feed the flock of God. Don't do it grudgingly or just, you know, out of, you know, uh, I guess I better have to. No, but be a good example. And it also says, don't lord over the people. So, Pastor Coco, we encourage you to feed the flock in Final Fantasy fourteen online in any way that God is leading you to. Be a good example and we're really excited to see what God's going to do in that ministry. So we empower you, uh, we encourage you, and we are really uh, just want to put all our support behind you and in that ministry. We're going to have some highs, we're going to have some lows, and we're going to have some challenges, we're going to have some breakthroughs. It's going to be all of that, uh, but it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be powerful. And like the verse we read before, if we agree, and there's two of us agreeing at least, and there's many. We got Vivi, we got uh, you know Hayden, uh, we've got uh, uh, all those Wendelo and Chris, and all those in the Final Fantasy world. And I'm missing some names, but you get the point. We're in agreement. God's going to do it. So I'm really excited about that. Pastor Bismick, if you would be so kind, um, it's just a pray a prayer of ordination um, over Pastor Coco. And I really, yeah, thank you so much for doing that. Okay. Please. Yes, um, <clears throat> so then let us pray. Okay, uh, since I already, pray, already prayed for you in the last service, I just want to add something here um, and uh, want to pray something over you that the joy of the Lord over you is something that um, is is feelable, has some, has some... Uh, some impact in your life that I pray that the Holy Spirit remembers you in the next week, how much joy the Father has upon you because um, you are now a, son, a daughter of God uh, through the death, and the, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And uh, thanks for all your work and thank you uh, for the stuff that you are going to do, uh, that you're going to do. Um, and yeah, this is um, what I want to add. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Bismick, so much. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Coco. Everyone, let's feel free to give a clap or a cheer or an emoji for uh, Pastor Coco um, as a pastor and elder of VR Church. And so, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, hear the, I hear some controllers clapping there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Not bad. There, there are the emojis. <laughs> Not bad at all. Right, right. All right, my friends, that is the end of the church service for today. 
Um, I know I threw a lot out you. I know it was quick. I know there was a lot of information. Um, but uh, yeah, so I hope that you um, get as much as you can. Forms for the community channels are going to be up in the middle of the week sometime. So feel free to, hey, try it out. You know, maybe it doesn't go anywhere, but maybe it does. Who knows? I experiment, try it out, give it a whirl. Um, there's no pressure with it um, as well. So, all right, my friends, uh, uh, be blessed, be encouraged. And uh, yeah, let's take a picture uh, with pint size or excuse me, Coco. Coco, if you don't mind. And that is the end of our church service for today. Thanks for attending, guys. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, nothing but love to you. And we'll see you next week. All right. Okay. Come on up. Let's all, let's all surround all right, uh, Coco all right. for a picture here. Come on around. I didn't take a picture. So, uh, Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, put on yeah, a small avatar. Picture I'll picture. just sit in the front. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Short avatars in the front, tall avatars in the back. I'm the, am I the smallest? I can't tell. Oh, right, here we go. In three, let's see here. Oh, Oscar, get in here, buddy. Get in here, Oscar. Don't be shy. Yeah, get in front of Jenna. What's up, Jenna? All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and, and boom. Let's take another one. In three, two, one, boom. Awesome. All right, thanks, everybody. Got it. Appreciate it. It's been so long. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, that was that was a sermon. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of talking, wasn't it? <laughs> Love it. Oh, like, it was good. Okay, uh, okay. Two times. It was okay, uh, man. You gave us time to breathe it all. Hey, in, so. congratulations, Jake. We didn't go too fast. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, cool. yeah. You, you did good. Yeah. And it, it was important. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Everything, everything, was, important. everything, everything was important. Everything was important. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to be a part right. of season five. I mean, uh, I show on last week. Season five. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. This is my turn. So, but I think I will. Uh, play some until you fall and then go to bed and fall to fall into my bed. We actually, uh, Wait until you like, fall. Hey, is that the? Um, it's kind of nice oh, to be able to sword, each other sword during game, the uh, yeah. so so that that sword like, rhythm game. And it's it's awesome. Because, it's really know, cool. Like, you know, what's I'm not gonna try that out. That's actually a good workout. <laughs> Bye. See you next time in the alt space again, Americas, with the next streamer. <laughs>